I've done some gel tests to compare various types of 7.62 by 39 rounds performance. You can click here to visit those, but this video is going to be a little different. I'm going to show you the Hornady Zombie Max 7.62 by 39 from the inside out. These are ballistic tipped bullets with large boxer primed brass cases. It's Hornady brass, good stuff for reloading. There's absolutely nothing magnetic. I weighed each complete round and they ranged from 269.5 grains down to 263.3 grains, a difference of 6.2 grains. Now I've read this is actually some really good quality ammo, so I wanted to find out where the variance was. I tore down the two heaviest and the two lightest rounds, and I weighed all of the individual components. Here's how things break down. 23.8 grains of powder, projectile 122.7 grains, empty case 118 grains, finally unfired primer 5 grains. I was pretty impressed that they all had exactly 23.8 grains of powder. Very precise. Each bullet weighed 122.7 grains, except for one which only came in at one tenth of one grain over. This is very good. The primers each weighed in at about five grains, and I was pleased to find that the case is where most of our variances occurred, probably the most forgiving area. So far so good. Each bullet clocks in with a diameter of exactly 0 .310 inches, and each one that I measured came in at exactly 0 0.992 inches in length. The bullet itself is what makes this ammo so tasty. There's a lot going on here. One of the first things you'll notice is the bullet has a ballistic tip. The plastic insert plays a few roles, such as improved aerodynamics, but most importantly, bullet expansion. I know I've shot hollow points that didn't expand. Sometimes the hollow point would be filled with debris. These inserts help ensure expansion as they're driven like a wedge into the tip of the bullet. The inside of the jacket is weakened with many small score marks, those also assist with expansion. Best I can tell, these 122.7 grain projectiles consist of the ballistic tip at 0 0.7 grains, the jacket material at 44 grains, and the lead at 78 grains. These are approximations, but I feel that they're probably pretty accurate. This lead is very soft. I was able to score it with my fingernail and easily with the knife as well. While these Z-Max bullets have an identical ballistic coefficient to the Hornady SST bullets, they are not the same. The Z-Max have AMP jackets, which stands for Advanced Manufacturing Process. This basically means they're made with a higher level of accuracy than a traditional bullet jacket. I've read forums claiming that this is the same as the Hornady SST bullet, or the VMAX, or even the AMAX. So which is it? I've compared the specifications, wasn't able to come up with a direct answer. I decided to get to the bottom of it and ask Hornady. Hornady replied saying, the ZMAX and the VMAX are the same bullet with different colored tips. They are not an SST bullet due to the fact that the SST has an internal contour to the jacket and the VMAX and AMAX do not. So there you have it. Let's go ahead and go outside and fire some off. It's good to get out here again, finally do some more tests. I've got the Wasser 10 AK, the Zombie Max. First I'm going to shoot just a stock round into the gel. You can see these two blocks have two different shades. The one on the right has been melted down and remolded more than the one on the left, and it got to a higher temperature, which caused the discoloration. Both of these blocks have calibrated out within specification.
That clocked in at 2164 feet per second. Entry here at about the one inch mark, we had separation. And right at the one inch mark is the very tip of the ballistic plastic insert. And then about two and a quarter inch mark is the shank of the insert. So those came off right at the beginning. Then from about the one inch to the eight inch mark is a nice wound channel. And as we move down, our chunk of lead continues and it stopped right at about the 23 and a half inch mark in our second block. Here's a cutaway showing the construction of one of these rounds. Now the ballistic tip has separated into two pieces there. So I've gone ahead and I pulled the ballistic tip, the little plastic insert, out of one of these and now it resembles a traditional hollow point. I'm curious about what kind of effect that will have. So I'm going to shoot it here into the same gel block and find out. Well, that was pretty interesting. This clocked in at 2116 feet per second. I've turned the blocks on their side so we can do more of a visual comparison. This is the first round I shot, and here is the second, the one without the plastic insert in the tip. You can see both wound channels are very similar. They started at about the one inch mark and wrapped things up at around the eight inch mark. The primary difference that I'm seeing here is the one without the plastic insert fragmented. It left pieces of its jacket and lead as the projectile traveled. Both projectiles ended up in the second block. The one with the insert stopped at the 23 and a half inch mark and the one without the insert went to 26 inches. If we take a closer look at these we can see that the first one which I dug out here the jacket remained and it simply mushroomed out whereas the one that left fragments of the jacket and lead is much smaller inside the block. Here is an intact round, 122.7 grains. Here is the projectile with the ballistic tip. It weighs in at 113.6 grains. It held together pretty well. Now here's the one without the ballistic tip, the one that fragmented. You can see the fragments of jacket and lead up here and it lost, uh, well, about half of its weight. 57.7 grains is what's left behind. So what's the final consensus on the Zombie Max? Well, I'd say it's good stuff. It's well made. It expands reliably. Um, the ballistic tip, it actually performs a function. And this is made from quality Hornady reloadable brass, which adds value if you're a reloader. So the name, the package, it makes it seem like a novelty round, um, but I would say if you want a self-defense round or a hunting round, here it is. Now this obviously costs more than some of this steel case stuff which I'll be shooting next, but each has their purpose. Thanks for watching. Be safe. Remember, you can click the link in the description for more information about this ammo at AmmoChannel.com.